everyone welcome back to the video i hope you all are doing great today we dive into the incredible moment in the space exploration history yes that's right we talk about the success story of spacex so without wasting more time let's get started you see rockets are launched using something called boosters now usually a booster separates from the main rocket at some distance it falls back to earth or it burns but not this spacex booster now for the first time spacex has carried out an on the ground test of its huge super heavy boosters it brings the company's starship rocket system one step closer to the moon and mars well this is huge and i remember when elon musk first proposed the idea of catching this booster with those mechanical arms that he calls the chopsticks everybody thought he was crazy but then SpaceX, Elon Musk's Starship rocket blasted off. You're at an NFL game and the home team just scored a touchdown. A major milestone for SpaceX with the launch of the... And SpaceX needs up to 18 launches to send cargo to the moon before... Well, SpaceX has made history again. On 13th of October, SpaceX achieves a groundbreaking milestone. On their fifth test flight of their Starship rocket, they were able to catch the massive heavy booster mid-air with the help of the robotic arm called as Mechazilla, which still feels so good to be true. But this brings a significant leap in the way how we are going to use reusable rockets. Also in consideration, this brings us close to the future space missions that we're going to have, especially if we talk about the NASA's upcoming moon mission. Now talking about the specific achievements during the project, let me break it down for you. The Super Heavy Booster was approximately a whopping of 70 meters tall, which was launched from the facility of Boca Chica, Texas at 8.15 am CST. This Super Heavy Booster was equipped with 33 Raptor engines, Sheesh, providing that trust to send the second stage of the Starship into the space. Now, once this super heavy booster along with the second stage of Starship reaches approximately 70 kilometers, it gets separated. Once it gets separated, the booster starts its journey back to Earth. Now, here's where it gets interesting. When the super heavy starts coming back on Earth, Exactly at 20 kilometers, the super heavy booster ignites its three of its Raptor engines. It had to be done so precisely, so it had to align exactly in such a way that the two mechanical arms of the tower could catch it and it would position in between them. Now, this is an engineering masterpiece. Exactly how SpaceX engineer call it as the Mechazilla. At 8.23 am CST, SpaceX flawlessly had the super heavy booster on the Earth without any damage exactly at the hands of the two towers. Can you just imagine this whole thing happened within 8 minutes? Sheesh. Well, now let's talk about the you know details of the project. When did it all start? What were the things used? How was this project so successful? So let's talk about it one by one. Now let's talk about the prototypes. 2019 was the year when they had their first prototype which they called it as the Star Hopper. This was meant for the low altitude flight test. With this, they would understand the design and validate on it. With that, they would work on the future upcoming tests or projects. 2020 is the year when they had several flight tests which were all for high altitude. Namely, there was SN8, SN9, SN10 and SN11. These are meant to understand if the flight would go properly well. 
also understanding the aerodynamics design and also the landing capability with this we come to 2021 when they had their first official proper test landing also this flight which was the SN15 the rocket not just went for the high altitude uh, flight test but also made a successful landing on earth giving them the confidence but also validating on their design how it could be going further with the upcoming projects now this was all about the prototypes let's talk about the project requirements as it plays a crucial role for what we are bringing up for the super heavy booster the first one is the payload capacity this uh, starship rocket is itself capable of carrying 150 metric ton with the configuration of the reusability now if this configuration is extended furthermore it would go up to 250 metric tons which is a huge amount itself now with just having the payload capacity is not enough we need to have the proper propellant now anything any object or anything that goes above the land or in the mid air it needs a propellant and in this scenario it was the fuel for the starship rocket we had the sub cooling liquid of methane which is the ch4 along with the liquid oxygen that is the lox mixed with giving the high efficiency as possible now not just the fluid that we use for propellant is enough also the proper engine also required as i spoke before the super heavy booster had the 33 raptor engines for its payload capacity but uh, keeping this booster aside we had the starship 2 the starship is equipped with 6 a uh, raptor engines which is capable of landing itself on earth too now connecting to this point lastly we need to talk about the reusability both the first stage as the second stage is designed in such a way that both can be landed on earth without any taking further about the starship rocket which is sent to the space can be landed back with the intervention of a floating surface by landing on it the starship heavy booster which could be caught mid air which is possible and which was already done with the spacex now was this all an overnight success definitely not as they say failure is the first step of success similarly was the case of spacex it was not sunshine and rainbow for spacex from before they had to go through tough times due to which today they are standing as the leading in the space market so let's talk about it one by one the year 2002 elon musk officially founded the company spacex the company began with the lofty goal of reducing the space exploration cost and enabling mass colonization the first rocket which was the falcon 1 was really not having a good start it had literally three failures one after the other from 2006 to 2008 the first failure was on 24th of march 2006 exactly after 25 seconds of the lift off the rocket was a complete failure this was caused due to the fuel line rupture caused due to corrosion plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus uh, this is the rco we have an active track with the radar The second failure which was on 21st of March 2007 the rocket almost touched the space orbit but could not make it due to the lack of control 8 7 have... The third failure which happened on August 2nd 2008 This was caused due to the two stages not being separated properly. Because of the stage separation not happening, the rocket almost made to the space but was a failure after. Uh, At this time, anyone would give up. Any person but that was not the case for elon they were determined that they're going to achieve something good and exactly after 2 months of the failure of the third one 
दे वॉट दी फोर्थ अटेम्प्ट ऑफ द फैल्कन वन रॉकेट एंड दे सक्सेसफुली मेड इट टू द ऑर्बिट ऑफ स्पेस विद दिस दे सिक्योर द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ नासा एंड दिस वॉज अ बिग रिलीफ फॉर दैम नॉट जस्ट द रिलीफ बट ऑल्सो वर्किंग ऑन दैर अपकमिंग प्रोजेक्ट Building on the success of the Falcon 1 rocket, they bought the Falcon 9 rocket, built for much more efficient projects, heavier projects, and carry as much as payload as possible. The year 2010 when this rocket was bought, and the first attempt itself was a successful one, but the actual breakthrough came in the year 2015 when they bought the first stage back home. This. was the first beginning of the reusable rocket era but this was not it 2018 was the year when data which determined spacex actual capability this year bought the success or the headline for spacex as they pulled off to send elon's tesla roadster into the space into the orbit around the sun This showed their determination and their capacity to conduct much more missions apart from their space exploration. Secondly, talking about the other projects that SpaceX also conducts is the Starlink mission or the project. This is an other masterpiece. Apart from the projects that they have to send humans to Mars and colonization. and other space exploration around the solar system they also have much more plans in bringing the internet access as quickly as possible to be honest to say it as higher internet speed access to each and every person around the earth now this mission or this project was mainly meant to send a satellite low altitude towards the earth's orbit and give access to the internet to those regions which don't even have an idea about what internet is but that was not all with having much more satellites around it could give you high efficiency speed of internet all around the world now this project just not says that spacex is just meant for space exploration but much more beyond cherry on the cake comes the starship mission This is what SpaceX is meant for. Can you even imagine this company which had three failures back to back and after that during the Falcon 9 they also had failures at that point of time. This company having so many failures could have turned down and said no it's not possible. But that was not the case as I said. With having an innovation perseverance and a visionary leadership spacex was able to pull this thing off with this said now let's talk about the future of spacex what is elon looking at what are the future missions and what is the vision behind spacex for the upcoming years first let's talk about elon's vision elon's vision is deeply rooted to send human species to the mars and colonize it as quickly as possible as this not just acts as a backup plan but also the presence of humans on mars evolves our species as much as possible second thing is musk envisions that our species can travel to other planets too as this would expand our horizon and also act like a backup plan if earth is bound to disaster now this was about you know elon's vision or sending humans to mars and colonizing it as quickly as possible as he believes that this is very close to the near future but now it's important for us to know what is the future plans of spacex so let's talk about it one by one the first one is the starship develop the main goal for spacex is to make a rocket that is capable of carrying people and cargo as much as possible spacex is closely working on it and with the recent success of it i think they will be able to pull off many other things the main goal is the moon mission the mars mission and beyond this too to carry 100 people and cargo apart from this the second one is the uh, starlink development 
as spoken before this project where you're able to give the internet access to anyone at anywhere at any time the main goal would be to make this as 10x speed with the help of bringing satellite to the lower earth orbit and as many satellites as possible so that this internet speed could be increased for many things for the upcoming projects for the communication and many other aspects too the third one is the moon mission as spoken before and earlier spacex is closely working with nasa on their artemis project the year 2025 is expecting for the moon mission and starship is going to play a crucial role for this mission sending the people to the moon service back after so many years this will play a crucial role as they may have to understand how exactly people to be sent back because this will be another milestone achievement not just for nasa but also for spacex and their upcoming missions too adding on to that is the fourth one that is the mars mission the end goal of spacex is definitely to colonize mars as quickly as possible to send humans to mars and also to make this mars mission the most successful one too elon vision is to make people work and live on mars how we have building uh, the buildings infrastructure and how we survive similarly he wants the same thing happening on mars with this colonization as the end goal that is what spacex is working towards every single day and projects like moon mission and the recent successful landing of the booster is going to make it much more closer for elon's vision to be achieved as quickly as possible the fifth one is the rapid reusability let's not forget that having all of these missions it is also important for us to bring back those boosters to those second stage back to earth also with having the ideology of bringing the first stage is also as important now the reusability rocket will not just you know help companies like spacex but will also bring the ideology of other organizations companies around to also bring in this concept of reusability why is it so important this would reduce the cost effectiveness as the same rocket boosters could be used for the upcoming project here's a video which demonstrates how it would be so easy to click on one tap and book your next uh, space rocket flight to the specific place you would you want coming to the end of this video as people say having a vision is important the rest will follow itself elon's vision and spacex future plan is truly a ground breaking and also having the potential to change the space exploration for sure but one thing that we can learn as a business owner or as a student or as an individual is having that never give up attitude This would take us miles and miles just like SpaceX. Lastly, we would like to know what does this mean to you? Do let us know in the comment section. Coming to the end, all I can say is that's it for this video. See you in the next one.